Um, getting into uh, the truck race, I am heated about this shit. This All is right. bullshit. I'll let you this go is, off then. This is bullshit. Thor Sport Racing. <clears throat> um, so here's the situation. Stuart Friesen's running inside the top five. I think he was second or third. I want to say third. Um, no chance of gaining any points. He was too far back to do so. He was tied with Ben Rhodes at the time to go into the championship for for the truck series. Um, ben Rhodes is running further back in the pack. Not sure exactly where. He has his teammate Christian Eckes in front of him, and he has his teammate Matt Crafton, Crafton behind him, right? And ben Rhodes is plus, or he's zero points below. He is tied with Stuart Friesen, and he has the tiebreaker. Um, Christian Eckes is way out in front of Ben Rhodes. Ben Rhodes clearly struggling with his truck. Like the, he's about to wreck the thing every corner. Matt Crafton ran him down from seconds back. And magically, Christian Eckes starts backing right up to Ben Rhodes. And Matt Crafton suddenly, his truck sucks when he gets to Ben Rhodes. Ensuring that Ben Rhodes makes the makes the final four. I had thought there was a hundred percent rule that we just penalized Cole Custer, just crucified Cole Custer for it. The other like last week or two weeks ago or whatever it was. You either call it or you don't. And I feel like this was pretty fucking blatant. <laughs> I I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore because we 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 find Cole Custer for that. We yeah. don't give a shit about this. Everybody knew that Kyle Larson did it in 2017 when he let everybody go at Homestead. That's not running at 100. percent There's been other times at the final that, race where guys well, haven't run 100. Right. Well, yeah, there's been other. If there's a hundred percent rule, why do we why do we care sometimes and why do we not care other times? Well, here here's what I. The Kyle Larson thing, I think that would – I feel like that's a little bit different because it's more like he – respect for his competitors. Like, I don't want to get up in the middle of that shit. Now, granted – Then they should let him go. Like that. It shouldn't <laughs> be like that. Yeah. But Kyle took that into his own hands. It wasn't team orders or anything like that. That would – yeah. Um but yeah, I mean, it's just it's fucking ridiculous. And NASCAR NASCAR brought this on. I mean, they brought this on themselves. They they made it clear if as long as you don't say anything on the radio about it, you're not going to get in trouble. As long as we don't have 100% proof. Like, I mean, there was <laughs> I mean, apparently not though cuz you could argue they didn't have 100% proof in the Cole Custer thing. You could well, argue. You could argue, yeah. But you could argue they didn't have 100% uh, proof that O.J. Simpson killed Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman. They didn't. That's why they didn't convict. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, they didn't convict him. They didn't convict him. <laughs> they didn't convict him, so he didn't do it. Okay. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, I that, that's what I'm saying, dude. I mean, it's we need... Here's the thing, though. If NASCAR would just step the fuck up and start, like... Well, what's the point like, of having teammates if you can't be a teammate outside of Daytona and Talladega? Teammate. That's not being... That is race manipulation, my guy. Not passing someone? Yes, when you run them down from four fucking seconds back and you stop right there. Teammates is pushing a guy to a win at Talladega. Like teammates is i'm gonna race you more fair than i i'm gonna not run you up into the wall coming off turn two i'm not gonna block your runoff i'm gonna let you go because you're my teammate and i'm not gonna race you like a dickhead i'm not gonna run you on the wall it, on the straightaway at auto club uh yeah but they're like aren't they in like different shops so i feel like that's different oh yeah that's true um, <laughs> but that's i don't know that's Teammates should not have the ability to manipulate a race. Teammates should be there to be like, all right, I'm not going to race you as hard, or I'm going to cut you a break because it's good for the team. Not, I'm going to. This I'm is gonna, a, this is a product of the playoffs. 
This is a product of the playoffs. I said it last week. We don't trucks don't need playoffs. <laughs> no, they don't. And Xfinity <laughs> don't definitely don't uh, doesn't need playoffs either. I don't know. That was just I just I, I don't know how you don't call that. Like I don't know how that's that's fine at all. Like I don't know how NASCAR doesn't look at that and be like, uh, what the hell? <laughs> like, well, because then I guess here's the thing: is the next time. The next time someone else runs someone down and gets stuck in dirty air, they're going to be worried about getting called for fucking race manipulation. You could you could tell the difference. Yes, you can. You can tell you the can difference tell the in di- all of these. You can tell the difference between, uh, you know, Chase Elliott running up on Kyle Larson at Texas and he can't pass him in an all-star race. Versus Matt Crafton running someone down from three quarters of a second back and suddenly all day dirty air is not a factor and now it is. And also it's convenient that you, if you pass your teammate, you're going to knock them out of the playoffs. Look, I'm just saying if they start trying to police whether or not guys – see, I think – here's the thing. They don't is, have to police – here's the thing. They don't have to police it – like. Every, they can use judgment. NASCAR is a sanctioning body. This isn't the, they're not the police. They well, are here's the thing. Body. They run a sport. If they don't like something, fuck, like, call it. Like, if you don't like it, call it. Well, here's I mean, the thing. If a teammate, if a teammate wants to help another teammate by not passing him, I don't think that's the same thing as breaking from 1,400 feet up to make sure your teammate gets up uh, past you to make the playoffs. I don't think it's the same thing. What do you wait? Repeat what I said. I don't. Yeah, I said that bad. I don't think if a teammate decides not to pass a teammate in the end of the race to help them out playoff wise, I don't think that's the same thing as Cole Custer breaking fourteen hundred feet too early to make sure Chase Briscoe got an extra point. I don't think that's the same thing. No, it's it, it's not the same thing, but it's it's still like blatant race manipulation. It's it's still it falls under the same banner. One's definitely more egregious than the other, but also one supposedly didn't affect whether Chase Briscoe made the playoffs or not. This yes, one did. supposedly because he ran over Eric Jones before that. Yeah, and Chase Briscoe's never wrecked on his own ever in his no, entire. Today life. was the first time. Have. Today was the first time. Chase Briscoe's ever wrecked on his own. We will talk about that later. Anyway, I'm pissed. Thor Sports should be investigated. That's bullshit in my book. Like, that's, like, it's, here's the thing, and here's why we get into situations like this with each other, is because we've made it to where things have to be black and white. When it comes down to policing I say policing. When it comes down to running a sport like NASCAR has done in the past, they didn't need to be black and white. It was pretty, if it was obvious enough, they caught it. And now I, we're. I get what you're saying. Now I, we're running willy nilly with this because we've made it so absolute. Yeah. Here's my thing. At this point, the way the playoffs have been. These haven't been rules. They have not been rules. And and in racing, in racing, we've always operated in the gray area, whether that's car setup, whether that's um, how how you do your pit stops back in the day when we would only tighten three or four lugs. Um, we are, we've always operated in the gray area. If NASCAR wants to decide that this is not going to happen anymore, it needs to lay down specific ground rules. I know that's black and white. That's not exactly what you're saying. That's exactly what you're saying. We don't need, but you need to, because this is in every series. This playoff shit has devolved. What I mean, do actions detrimental to stock car racing mean to you? I have no fucking idea anymore. I'll yeah, be exactly. Honest. That is such a broad, a broad banner that a lot of these problems fall under, and we've been using that as our excuse to penalize people for years. What I shit? always thought that was so you couldn't say anything. That's what it's no, usually that's, been. 
that's that no that's been no it's been it's actions not words detrimental well saying things is an action these days i do yeah um yeah so i don't i don't understand like i feel like they could they, they run the sport yeah there's rules look i'm not disagreeing with you i think i think other than other than on the safety thing as far as this goes, NASCAR just has to ride this out for the rest of this year. And I think they need to come out with hard rules next year on what is and is not allowed. Or just get rid of the fucking playoffs. It ain't that hard. We have all the parity we've ever wanted in all three. Well, not all three series. No Gregson's teabag in the field in Xfinity. But he's going to be gone next year. Ty Gibbs is going to be gone next year. So we're going to have all the parity we've ever wanted. We don't need gimmicky, ridiculous. Oh, I almost said a bad word. We don't need gimmicky, <laughs> ridiculous bullshit. On a week to week basis, where guys sit there and don't pass their teammate, or guys sit there and break early to give their teammate a fucking spot because they need one fucking point at the Charlotte Roval. Like, it's so, it's so fucking stupid. This, this whole thing is so stupid. And then we penalize guys because we don't have enough fucking parts and they, they didn't, they didn't repair it properly enough or something. Like, I know that was fucking months ago, but I'm still mad about that. And I don't know. This whole thing is fucking stupid. We don't need this. It's dumb. It creates situations like this. And we end up with problems like this for nothing. We have gained nothing from this except, oh, the points are closer. Blow me. <laughs> it took damn near 60 weeks, but we finally got Seth riled up. 